Hello weaving friends, hola amigos españoles, I thought I'd drop in to give you a little update and to um, do one of my little tips videos, this is something that several people have asked me about and it's like a lot of things in weaving, it's easier to show than it is to explain. First I want to give you an update on what's happening with my son. Um, most of you, well many of you, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram or anywhere like that, um, you know that our son has been very sick these past few weeks, um, almost coming up to a month now. And, uh, okay, I'm going to try and say this without <laughs> tearing up. He's um, basically had a really bad case of pneumonia and uh, he was in intensive care for a week. He's out of intensive care now, but he's having a lot of other complications of the pneumonia. He was actually booked for a second surgery today, which was postponed uh, due to other emergencies, surgeries they had to do. And so now he um, has to wait past the weekend and have his uh, surgery on Monday. It's going to be kind of a major one. So uh, I really thank you for all of your prayers all of your messages, all the support you've shown me and my family at this time it has been a really difficult time. Um, we just want to really get to that place in time where uh, we know he's going to be okay and he can come home again. Hopefully that will happen before too long. Um, I'm going to put a link in the comment section for a GoFundMe campaign that I've started for him. I thought it'd be really nice for him to come home to um, a a bit of money to spend. He really loves filmmaking, and um, filmmaking's not the cheapest hobby to have. Uh, but he's hoping to make a career out of it. And um, so, yeah, if you feel inclined to make a small donation, any do donation, it's welcome. Thank you very much. The link will be in the comments. So um, I've done another video before on ending your, you know, joining in a new yarn when your yarn has ended and I've done it as an overlap in the middle but there's also another option that often works well particularly for um, a finer yarn I find I really like this technique. So what I've done is I was weaving along my last shed was the up shed and then my yarn has ended so I've got this tail doesn't matter it doesn't have to be a tail this long it can be you know about half that as well and it'll work out fine so my next shed is the down shed and I'm going to go ahead and go into the down shed but with this tail I'm going to grab the bottom three warp threads three is a, a good general number for using this technique and I'm going to pull that tail over the three warp threads and tuck it down in the middle. So I just call this tucking in the tail basically. Then I'm going to bring in my new yarn, which I have ready to go. I'm going to go in that same down shed. This is, uh, I'm just doing plain weave here. And once again, I'm going to leave a tail okay beat that shed and then back into the up shed again and then I'm going to grab that tail again grab my three bottom warp threads again and tuck it in so it catches on the edge there but it tucks down between those warp threads like so and then I can weave that shed and once I'm done with all of the weaving and I have wet finished my piece then these little joins will become virtually invisible. So this is the same technique but I'm just going to show you a little bit closer for those of you who need that extra visual assistance. So I finished in the up shed so I wove this, this one in the up shed. I'm going to switch to the down shed and I'm going to take three of the bottom warp threads, not the top ones, the bottom, and I'm going to 
place the tail into that gap and pull it through. Now I'm going to bring in my new yarn and weave that down shed and I'm also going to leave a tail. Now I can beat and change to the up shed. Now that I'm in the up shed I want to deal with this tail. So once again I'm going to take it in about three warp threads at the bottom pop them in that gap and pull through. When I'm pulling through I just want the tail to sort of snug up against the edge warp thread just to keep it neat. Then I can weave the up shed and beat and there we go and then I can just keep weaving. Hope that helps you. Thank you for all your support. God bless you. Bye for now.